in there. Oh, you. What happened there? We're back. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing um, these little things. Got them on eBay. They're little voltmeters for the bongo. Basically, I've got one that's green, don't know which one, because they're not on yet. One's green, one's red, as in the, like, the LCD bit. Um, and I just want to be able to monitor my voltages on the two batteries on the bongo. So, the green one's going to be for the leisure battery, um, and the red one's going to be for the starter battery, just to make sure everything says it should, um, monitor any, anything silly going on. So, the plan is to install them in the footwell, little bit on the on the bongo, I'll overlay a clip now. So I'm gonna install them just there so that um basically so I can keep them out of the way but still be able to see them. I would put them on the centre console a bit but um it needs to be able to remove and stuff like that and it's just a pain. So I'm just gonna put them out there out of the way but still accessible to be able to see them. Um, I'm gonna put them both on this side and then the other side eventually I'm gonna put a controller for the diesel heater which will be another video in the near future. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. Right, so they're pretty uh, pretty basic. There's a screen there, like a little bezel edge thing. Positive and negative. Um, some sort of circuitry on the back, little PCB, print a circuit board. And then these little clip things here. So what I'm going to do is outline this inner rectangle shape. Hopefully cut that out and then um, these should push in and just hold once it's sort of sat in so I can recess it in and then you should just see that wherever you are. That is the plan. And obviously you've got to do that twice so I'm going to try and get one above the other. So hopefully should all go to plan. Pull that little thing there out. I should just unclip. There you go. And then we got plenty of room behind there to run our cables and stuff. So uh, the only thing is actually thinking about it. That's not gonna work, is it? Right actually there's a change of plan because of this metal behind here. I don't know if it's going to work or it's one's going to be over here and one's going to have to be down here. It's just going to look a bit weird. So forget that. Scrapped. And what I'm thinking now is up here, there's like a big void behind here. I'm thinking of cutting out around here and sort of recessing whichever way up that goes that way that into there and one there for the other one so then I can have like starter battery this side leisure battery that side that would work wouldn't it all I'd need to do is just draw around the uh, that bit that I mentioned Stanley knife it out plunge it in maybe put a little bit of super glue or something around the outside and then just run a couple of cables up which is quite easy you just sort of run them up and across, I mean, I could even take, I think there's a permanent live there, which will probably do this one. Might have to have a go. So, what I'm thinking is, move that out of the way, so. so there's literally nothing there. There's a little bar just here, but I'm thinking if I just sort of go about there. Hmm. And then just get me old Stanley. I've got a brand new blade. And just draw around it with that. Very crude outline. Probably should use the pen. Oh, 
Lovely. Well, there's no going back now, really, is there? There we go, big hole in my roof. Lovely. What's that caught on? Now, I don't know what is actually in this headliner, but every time I touch it, it makes me itch. Probably should have bought some gloves on or something. Right, I don't know which one this is. Is this red or green? But let's just see how that looks. I want to demolish the actual liner as well by crumpling it all. Oh, that looks alright actually, once it's in. Look at that! Is it straight? Oh, I'm happy with that. Where's the wire gone? There it is. Nice! I bet you that's green because I want it red. I'm going to check it now actually. Oh, I'll pop the fuse back in. Um, where's my multimeter? Radio's come on. Right, 20 volt DC, so we can read 12. I think we've got 12, uh, 10 black and red. No. Oh, shut up. There we go, that's better. Right, where's our 12 volt then? Um, oh. Let's try something else. What have we got? Nothing. Twelve. Right. That way. Okay, twelve point four. On those two, so red and blue. Red is ground, blue is positive. Ram that in there, and then ram that one in there. Oh, you right in there. We're just blowing it up. Right, well, there you go. Okay. Awesome. Ground. 12 volt. There we go. I must have splashed it across the contacts or something. My god, it's the right one. The red went in the red one. Oh, it's a bit wonky. Need to sort that out. But no, that's cool. I'm happy with that. So, at the minute though, that is actually my. This light is running off my ledger battery because of that swap loom. If you haven't seen that, there's a link up there. You can have a look at that. Um, but, yeah, I can just. That's fine. Yeah, we'll leave that. Okay. Nice. Happy. Now, time to cut the next one in. I'll do it from the other side again. Right, same again. Crude cutting of the bongo. It's a bit harder this time, so you'll make sure they're in line and spaced and all that sort of thing. Obviously, I'm going to get my tape measure out and do it all properly. Nad. Slice. Oh, put that out of the way. Slice. 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 One more. Oh, I can't reach. There we go. That's good enough. I can see where I need to be. Make a little outline. Now, while I'm cutting this, here's a question for you. Have you subscribed to the channel? 
Because if not, why not? There's 400 of you now that are subscribed, but on my analytics, it's shown that most of my viewers, or a lot of my viewers, aren't actually subscribed. And if you're all subscribed, it would help out massively. Because then, I'll be monetized, because I've got the watch time. <sighs> Probably shouldn't be breathing that in. Yeah, I've got the watch time, I just haven't got enough subscribers now. I mean, if I could make a few quid every month out of doing these silly little videos that I do in my spare time, I'll get very bored. Um, then I can buy more things for the Bongo and for the MX-5 and for the BM and do more videos. So if you haven't, be sure to subscribe. It's free, don't cost you a penny. I'm making a right old hash of this, aren't I? There we go. Right, do you reckon it'll fit first time? Probably not. Let's try it. Push that in there. Um, which way? Dots are at the bottom. I haven't got a good feeling about this one. Like I did the last one. Oh, it's a pleasure. Look at that. Just need to square them up. Make them a bit prettier. It's not too bad. Oh, it looks like a face. Two eyes and a mouth. Very good. Right, that's that done. Now I just need to wire it all up. And definitely I need to straighten them up. I might cut a little bit too much on that one, have I? Might be right. Once it's up there, I'm never going to be touching it, so it's not like it's going to go anywhere. Look, it's a little face. Right, there you go. I have basically opened up the little uh, connectors inside there, made them a little bit wider, and then pushed the uh, cables from the voltmeter into the things and just sort of squeeze them with a the screwdriver. I couldn't do it with uh, two camera, uh, two hands, one hand even, needed two hands. So anyway, that's done. I'm just going to connect the uh, the light back on. Which again is on the ledger battery. There you go, that's working. And now all I need to do is get a cable up from the starter battery or the starter fuse board to connect a positive to there uh, and the ground or I can connect the ground up here somewhere whatever um, and that will give me my starter battery voltage I'm not as worried about that one because I know I've got that split charge relay in there this is the one I want to keep an eye on just to make sure that I'm not running out of leisure batteriness because I know that's always going to be charged up but it's nice to know what it is as well so for the sake of it that will be red um, once I've wired that so I'm going to go and do that now and I'll cut back to that being wired and done. Right, that is that. So, ledger batteries in, starter batteries in. Um, I haven't got the keys, but yeah, that goes red. That's green. Red is starter, green is ledger battery. Um, nice and easy, I've run a cable up there, just connected it on to the thing, literally repeated the process of what I've done with that one. So you don't need to see it twice. Um, that's it. Nice and easy job. Um, if you did like the video, give us a like. Hit subscribe. That's the main one at the moment. Need some subscribers. I've got the watch time. If I get enough subscribers, you start earning some money out of this. Anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty more videos on the Bongo. Plenty other videos on the 335 IBM. Uh, the MX-5, got some other loads of other little videos that are coming, um, some different stuff, so yeah, thanks for watching, see you in the next video, cheers guys.